Well, Cheryl, astronomers say the two events in one day, meteorite and asteroid, is pure coincidence. And what happened over Russia today has scientists just as baffled as people like you and me. Saw that and it's like, wow, this doesn't happen all that often. This is a very rare thing for it to happen and for it to happen in an observable location. What I heard this morning was it was visible for over 100 miles. The buzz today, especially among scientists. The exciting thing, too, is there's a certain, you know, phys you know physics events aren't something that occurs every day. And so when we actually get, you know, a headline in the news, it's excitement. And um, so it's something we talk about. Jason Dibel with the Department of Physics at Wright State University tells us the meteor that exploded over Russia was several meters, and more than a thousand people were injured as a result. We're fortunate, they're fortunate that there weren't more serious injuries. And it wasn't the meteorite that hit the Earth's surface that necessarily caused the damage and all those injuries. It was the shock wave instead. The shock wave from the what we call an airburst or explosion of the meteorite. It, it, um, you know, all the damage that was resulted from this was when the meteorite was still, you know, several, you know, hundred feet and probably thousands of feet in. In the air. It was a shockwave. It was traveling at uh, 30 times the speed of sound. The size and speed are two of the reasons we're unable to see meteors coming. By the time we detect an object like this using standard radar technology, it's too late. Unlike meteors, scientists are able to detect asteroids way in advance, like the 150-foot cosmic rock that safely passed Earth this afternoon, the closest known flyby for an asteroid of its size. It's an asteroid is something that is in a predictable orbit around the sun. And likewise, that's why with the object that's coming nearby Earth today, we know its path. According to the International Society for Meteoritics and Planetary Science, two meteors have been recorded in the area. One was in Dayton in 1892. Another was reported in Enon in 1883. Reporting live, Yuna Lee, News Center 7.